Hello, my name is Brett DeLandry and I'm a senior systems engineer with Fast Data. Today, we'll be talking about S3 bucket management and S3 endpoint management directly from the Vast Data web UI. This enables power users and IT administrators to have complete control over S3 buckets and S3 endpoints as well as their namespaces and groups of users that have specific access to S3 on Vast Data. First, navigate to the element store and click on view policies to create a new view policy. At the top right, click on create policy and define the name of the policy that you'd like. In this case, my S3 view policy. Select the security flavor for S3 native and then click on the group membership source that you'd like to define, whether that be a local group, local list of users and groups or in combination of Active Directory and LDAP. Select which particular VIP pool that you'd like this to have affinity to, or select none to have affinity to all VIP pools. In the S3 tab, you'll have the ability to select specific users that have the ability to list particular buckets, such as myself, Leon, or Andy, or you can define a group that has bucket listing privileges, such as domain S3 users. Once you're done, hit create, and then you'll be able to see your new view policy by searching under the name field. Once you're satisfied, go to views to create a new view. First, we're gonna create a new bucket. Define the local path on the element store. In this case, we'll be using slash my S3 bucket, and we'll be defining S3 bucket as the particular protocol to use. Define the actual name of the bucket when leveraging a S3 toolkit and define the policy name that you'd like to have associated to this view. Check create directory to have the directory created on the element store and then navigate to the S3 tab to select some required features such as S3 bucket owner. In this case I'll use myself. You can enable specific S3 features such as S3 versioning and S3 object lock and then if you elect to use S3 object lock you can define a default retention period in this case one day. Once you're done, go ahead and go back to the general tab to verify all of your settings for local path and S3 bucket name are correct, and create the policy. In the path section, you can search for the bucket that you just created along with the associated settings. And now we'll create an S3 endpoint. Go to create view, define the local path of that S3 endpoint, and then select which protocol that we're going to use, in this case, S3 endpoint. Define the policy name to be associated with this particular view, in this case, my S3 policy. Enable create directory, and then navigate to the S3 tab for a different level of S3 access control for S3 endpoints. In this case, we'll define a list of users that have the ability to create S3 buckets. Alternatively, you can select a specific group that allows you to create buckets. From here, check your settings and then hit create. These features allow administrators and power users to have complete S3 bucket management and endpoint control directly from the vast web UI. Again, my name is Brett DeLandry. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.